What is your favourite or the most beautiful chemical reaction? One of my favourites is a very simple reaction, but it excites me every time. It's simple combustion of hydrogen. I really like that. Woohoo! And it's a very simple reaction, but I just like the speed and the, the noise it makes. I also like the barking dog, which some of you may have seen, because I do the barking dog sometimes. So here we have the barking dog. But I really like hydrogen combustion. You really put me on the spot with that one, because there's so many. We need to add only one mil, so it's one centimetre cubed, of the copper sulphate. Deep blue colour. And again, we'll have to give this one a helping hand. And I didn't expect it to be quite so... Wow! Not just the individual crystals, but what they're next to as well. They're all lovely. They're all my babies. So, you know, you can't pick a favourite child, as it were. I love messing around with dry ice, despite the incident with the cannon. Bullseye. Probably, yeah, being able to just bucket chemistry, throw in handfuls of dry ice into a huge tub of soapy water, watching it all froth up, watching the audience reaction. Uh, for me, the most important thing, whether it's doing a scientific experiment or gift giving, is watching that person's reaction. I don't know. Um, let's think about it. Oh, goodness. Um, uh, no, let me think. Uh, well, I, one, possibly my most favourite reaction is an extremely dangerous reaction to make a particular phosphorus compound. And you have to react white phosphorus, which comes stored under water because it burns in air otherwise, with a mixture of sodium and potassium, which is a molten alloy, and that reacts explosively with water. So you have to make sure you've got rid of all the water from the white phosphorus before you let it see the sodium-potassium alloy and it makes this horrible black gunge, and then you put another reagent in to get the product that you're actually after, and it's unbelievably dangerous as a reaction, but it's great when you get the product out the other end and you're still alive. <laughs> There's so many chemical reactions which are, which are really fantastic, and often nature develops things which you just would not but ever have dreamt of as a, as a, a chemist. So there are various reactions you can do with vanadium. Okay, so vanadium is a transition metal top row of the transition metals um, and it has various oxidation states um, and you can actually, the undergraduates do that, he, do this here actually, but they do it with titrations which I don't think they find so fun. Um, but you can cycle through all these various oxidation states of vanadium um, and basically um, go from things that are yellow to things that are lilac -y purple to things that are green to things that are blue. So that's quite beautiful because it's a lot of nice, very pretty colours. There's a, a, a molecule co called calichiomycin and it's got a tri-sulfide, that's three sulfurs in a row, is a, is a trigger for this molecule. And it turns out that this molecule, which is found in a rock, like why does a rock need a chemical defense mechanism? Bacteria live inside a rock, crazy. But this is such a warhead, and actually now it's, it's part of a, an anti-cancer uh, type drug. I like the Wittig reaction. That's a reaction which makes two carbons come together, but to make a pi bond, so you get two bonds in forming in one, two carbon-carbon bonds forming in one. It's very useful for making natural products um, with pi bonds. Uh, I think that's my favourite reaction. Well, you've got uh, a very strained alkyne-alkyne system. You've got, uh, a tr th like I say, trisulfide, so three sulfurs in a row. This comes down, it opens a bridge, it brings the alkynes slightly together, and then these alkynes undergo what's called a Bergman cyclization, which forms a diradical. So this is pretty complex. You know, uh, this, this is uh, James Bond's worst enemy's most crazy planet killing him, right? It's just nuts. And you get a, 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 a benzene ring, a bit like this one, with a radical at either end. And that radical can then uh, attack the DNA and destroy it. So it is just such an extraordinary thing. You would never ever of in your wildest dreams come up with this sort of plan and you would never predict it would work but uh, it does work it's been found in a rock well when I was a PhD student I made a series of chiral 
carboxylic acids. So these are molecules which are a bit like your hand. You have a form that looks like the left hand and a form that looks like the right hand. And when I made these molecules, they were all jumbled up in what we call a racemic mixture. And it was really important to separate these two enantiomers of these chiral molecules. So there's a very, very simple reaction, which is you take an acid and a base and you make a salt plus a water. So I took this chiral carboxylic acids and I reacted it with a chiral amine to make a chiral salt. So when you pour these components together into a great big bath of water and stir them up, you get this unusual sort of cloudiness that appears in the reaction. And then almost instantly you get wonderful crystal growth and you see tiny little crystals which then balloon up in these rather large circular structures spherulites and these sort of pom-poms of molecules are just floating in the water and it was just enchanting just to watch it and I and I often sat for like 40 minutes just watching this crystallization and that was just a fantastic process you know it's quite surprising for me because everyone associates me with energetic reactions and you know this was really quite low in energy and really gentle and really quite serene many chemical reactions can be very beautiful, especially those with colour changes. One of my favourite reactions is the reaction of hydrogen peroxide with potassium permanganate. Potassium permanganate is purple, and if you add hydrogen peroxide, it goes colourless. And I've always been really fascinated by that reaction since I was quite young. I suppose recently with the videos, one of my favourite chemical reactions has to be the barking dog, you know, in the big glass tube, because that really is a dramatic experiment. And it's, it takes a lot of preparation, and it's over in a split second, and it's just, it's just amazing, and it takes your breath away every time. Mm -hmm.